Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. Let's talk about posture. All right, so let's make sure that you're getting into a hip hinge here, right? A hip hinge and then just cracking the knees. So you're gonna feel like you're right on top of the ball. The pressure is in your shoelaces. You're not sitting back and you're not getting into your posture with too much knee flex and your knees first, which sends your butt under and shuts off your butt and your core, so you're not going to be able to, I do it this way, use your butt. So you're most likely just going to use your arms because you went into your posture with your knees, all right, so there's no way you can add any hip flexion, all right, you can only lift your arms, all right, or over rotate, all right, but there's no butt engagement, there's no good hip flexion. Hip flexion helps to create engagement with the butt which helps in turn to leverage the ground all right but the question to ask is why are you getting into your posture like this to begin with all right we're going to talk about the popular reasons and it's important all right because you want to be able to create a dynamic golf swing by leveraging the ground and if you get into your posture like this you can't all right the first is conceptual you just didn't know that you had to hit pinch all right, and then just crack the knees. Two, your hamstrings are tight. So if your hamstrings are tight, all right, and you get into a hip hinge here, it's gonna pull a little bit. So you're gonna be like, oh no, that hurts. Uh, all right, you toast, dead. All right, the next reason is your lower back hurts. All right, so if your lower back hurts and you get into a hip hinge, that could pull on your lower back. What are you gonna do? Ugh. All right, so those are three popular reasons if your sacrum or pelvis are, are misaligned. I call it a knee diving move where you knee dive, boom, the knees go first, all right, and it tucks your butt, all right, so you're no longer able to sit into your back glute. All right, so it's really important to identify why you're doing it. Now, if your sacrum, pelvis, or L5, 4, this area is out of alignment, it can pull on your lower back. So make sure you see a CCEP. I'm gonna leave the link below. It's a chiropractor that is completely different than a regular one. It's designed for golfers because a CCEP gets everything from your ankles, knees, hips, pelvis area, ribs. We have a lot of rotation so our ribs can go out of alignment. SC, AC, our collarbone here, coarse neck, jaw, wrists, elbows. So if you have elbow pain, it could be your elbows misaligned. So a CCEP does all that. Way different than a regular chiropractor. I'd be dead without Doc Andrew, who I've known since I was 12. He's like my brother, that's why I know about this. It's really important that you get aligned. If I'm misaligned and my L5 starts to hurt or my sacrum's out, I can't use the butt. It's shut off. All right, so to prevent injury, make sure you take care of your body.